Greetings friends, there are a lot of great jump shots available for your my player in NBA 2K23, but here are a few that you should consider. And if you aren't familiar with the shot attributes in NBA 2K23, then shot speed and release height are pretty self-explanatory, but defensive immunity, this affects how your shot is against defensive contests. So the higher the grade here, the better chance you'll have of making the shot when contested. Timing impact is an important one, as the higher the grade here, the better you'll be rewarded for good shot timing. There is an increased penalty for bad shot timing when the timing impact grade is high, but let's be honest, if your shot timing is bad, you're probably gonna miss anyway, regardless of the grade. Without further ado, let's get into these jump shots, shall we? One. Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard's jump shot requires an 85 3 point rating or an 85 mid range rating, and your my player needs to be the height of 6 foot 5 or under. Dame's shot only has a C plus release height, but has a release speed of B plus, which is right in that sweet spot area. And on top of that, it has a defensive immunity of A plus and a timing impact grade of A plus as well. 2. Scotty Pippen. Scottie Pippen's jump shot requires an 85 3 point rating or an 85 mid range rating, and your my player needs to be at least 6 foot 5 or below 6 foot 10. Scottie's shot has an A plus release height, a B plus release speed, an A defensive immunity, and a B for timing impact. So, overall, a very solid collection of shot attributes for Scottie Pippen's jump shot. Number 3 PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker's jump shot requires is either an 83 mid-range shot or an 83 three-point shot and your my player has to be 6'5 or taller. PJ's jumper has an A with the release height, an A- minus with release speed, a B plus with defensive immunity, and a B for timing impact. 4. Devin Booker. With Book's shot, you need to be any height below 6'10 and have a mid-range or three-point shot rating of 86. As for the 2K23 cover stars jump shot grades, he has a C plus release height, a B release speed, an A plus defensive immunity, and an A plus timing impact. That release speed is right around the sweet spot, and the defensive immunity and timing impact are both perfect. And number 5. Tracy McGrady. With T-Max jump shot, you need to be somewhere between 6'5 and 6'10, and you need to have either a 3-point rating of 86 or a mid-range rating of 86, just like with Devin Booker. As for his jump shot grades, he has a release height of A+, a C- release speed, an A+, defensive immunity, and an A for timing impact. Now, I know that release speed is going to feel kind of slow, but you can go into the settings and change the release timing to go and make things a little bit faster. Other than that though, it's a fantastic shot and one of the best jump shots in the game. Alright, so there you have it. Those are some good preset jump shots to try out in NBA 2K23. And remember, 2K is all about preference, so feel free to go and try out all the different jump shots and see which one is best for you. These are just some to consider. And I thank you very much for watching, I really really appreciate it. If you found this video helpful at all, then definitely make sure to go and leave a like and subscribe, I would very very much appreciate that. We've been doing a mixture of sports games on this channel, but we have done a whole lot of NBA 2K, so feel free to go and subscribe for more. You can also go and follow me on Twitter at GhostPandaStorm, where I'm not only talking about sports games but I'm talking about gaming in general so if you are a gamer in general then definitely make sure to go and follow me on Twitter feel free to stop by and say hello and I'm also on Instagram as well also at Ghost Pen and Storm so feel free to go and follow me over there as well but anyway thank you again very much for watching I really really appreciate it and I will talk to you in the next video peace adios sayonara Ghost Panda out of here